Hello, Cuba City community, and welcome to One on One with Mrs. Olson. I am here today with Courtney Pickle and Avery Muller, and I'm excited to share that they were part of National History Day for eighth grade, and they were in the group called Group Documentaries. And so they're going to share a little bit about their project with us today, and they did very, very well um, on their project. So we're going to learn a little bit about their project today. So Courtney, can you tell us about your project and how you chose your topic? Yeah. So me and Avery, we created a documentary on the life and speeches of Susan B. Anthony. And we went in depth on those speeches. And we first started off by choosing our topic, by looking at what both of us were interested in. And we wrote out lists of what we were both interested in. And we both saw that on those lists that we both had women's rights. And so we looked further into that. And the main advocate for women's rights was Susan B. Anthony. So we went with learning about her. Perfect. And what an important topic. Such an important topic to know more about. So Avery, could you share with us how you conducted your research and then also how you created your project? Yes. So after we found our topic, we pretty much immediately started researching because we knew that we were going to need a lot of research and to go to a lot of credible sources to find enough information for this project. Uh, we got about three days into that, and then I got quarantined, so I was not able to use the sites that the teachers originally provided for us, but I talked with Ms. Burkett and Ms. Rollins, and they helped me find other sites that weren't blocked from my house. We had about 15 sources total, both primary and secondary, that we used to make our script and then use for our project. Awesome. So what, um, what did your project look like for creating it? So... We first obviously started researching. After that, it was basically just like a list of bullets that we made. And then we went and made our script because we wanted to get that out of the way. Uh, we probably worked on that for about a week. And then we got the process paper and annotated bibliography out of the way, which was basically just like citing all of our sources that we used and then telling them with limited words kind of about our project. And then we started with the actual like filming and putting the images together on the actual documentary. Awesome. Very, very cool. So Courtney, what skills do you think you've learned from this project that you're going to use in school in the future and then even outside of school? So Avery, as you said, Avery got quarantined very early on. And the only thing we got to do while she wasn't quarantined was choose our topic. And so we had a different experience with the National History Day. We had a very effective school process due to her being quarantined and the COVID restrictions. We would, in class, even though we were both there, we would have to Google Meet, for example. So that was a little sometimes hard because of the technology not working sometimes. So we had to be very flexible. And as every day came, we had to decide what we were going to do for that day. So it taught, to, taught us how to adapt to our circumstances. And also we learned how to organize our information. Since National History Day is such a big project, we learned how to organize all of our plenty of information nicely and easily. So when we brought our annotated bibliography or simply created the project, it was easily accessed. Very good. Cool. So um, Avery, what was the what do you think is the most rewarding aspect of this experience? Uh, I think the most rewarding part of this experience was to just look back and see all of the hard work that we did through all of the pretty much months of researching and putting the project together, we actually did get like a final product um, out of all of the, the stressful moments. It was just so fun to look back and it was so worth it. And then we got to show it off to the class and submit it for people to judge it. And it was just really cool to see that all of our hard work really did pay off. Yep, all of it came together, right? It all came together the way you hoped it would in your finished product. Very cool. Well, thank you so much for your information today, you guys. I have one question left for each of you. What is something that you really love about Cuba City Middle School? Courtney, why don't you share? My favorite thing about Cuba City Middle School is the teachers. They constantly are supporting us with whatever we do, and we can always ask for help. Awesome. Avery? Um, I really love all of the like extra opportunities that the teachers try to find us, like National History Day. Um, I wasn't too crazy about it at first, but I'm so glad that I ended up doing it. And it just taught me a lot. Fantastic. Well, thank you, ladies. Thanks for representing Cuba City Middle School. And thank you, Cuba City community. Have a great day.